Now, popular former Maiden Chelsea star Louise Thompson has revealed she has a stoma bag, saying it saved her life after years of battling with ulcerative colitis. In an Instagram post, she said, Isn't it bizarre that this little grey pouch is the price I pay for good health? I say good riddance to that nasty, menacing colon. Please be kind. She told her followers the announcement was not glamorous, but that she didn't want to keep it hidden forever. She's among 200,000 people in the UK living with a stoma bag, according to Colostomy UK, uh, the charity which helps anyone impacted by any kind of stoma or stoma surgery. Well, joining me now is uh, Giovanni Cinque from that charity, Colostomy UK, and also the comedian Matt Ford, who was fitted with a stoma bag following cancer surgery. Giovanni and Matt, um, thank you both very much for joining me uh, today mm -hmm. on The World Today. And uh, Giovanni, first of all, um, what kind of impact do you think Louise making this very public announcement will have? I think it's, it's going to make a hugely positive impact. It's not only Louise, but also recently people like Matt, Adele Roberts, Molly Pierce and Tracy Emin as well. Um, so even though perceptions have changed slightly over the last few years and there's a lot more positive coverage in the media, there's still a lot of ignorance and prejudice in society around stomas. And I think from our point of view, the benefit of people like Louise speaking out is it gives us a platform on shows like this to talk about the mm. challenges that people with stomas can face and explain how society being a little bit more educated and tolerant can make a huge difference to, difference to people's quality of life. Uh, just for anyone who isn't absolutely clear what you know a stoma is or a stoma bag is, just explain for us how it works. Yeah, so basically a stoma is an opening in the surface of the abdomen which has been surgically created and it diverts the flow of feces or urine. Um, in, any type of individual can have a stoma. It could be you know a baby, an older person, um, and it's there to treat a range of illnesses, including cancer, diverticulitis, Crohn's disease, trauma to the abdomen, etc. Well, let me bring Matt in at that point. Matt, um, hello to you. And uh, tell us about your experience. As we mentioned, you now have a stoma bag following cancer surgery. Yes, I had a very rare cancer, a cordoma on the base of my spine. And having it surgically removed, which really was my only option if I wanted to be cancer free and uh, live a long life, um, was then to the effect of that was that the nerves, because it was on the base of my spine to my bladder and bowel were removed. And that meant when I woke up after a very long surgery to remove the base of my spine, I'd also had a stoma fitted around the front. So you were dealing with the cancer, you were dealing with the surgery for the stoma as well. Uh, an awful lot to cope with. In terms of the practicalities for you, um, tell our audience what it's like. It's actually nowhere near as troublesome. I mean, it's actually very easy. Uh, I, I have to admit, before I had one fitted, I was gutted. Uh, I was slightly repulsed by it, and I'd always been slightly freaked out by them. I, I thought they were um, you know, a bit... A, a bit disgusting, to be quite honest. So when uh, Giovanni talks about that prejudice, not that I'd ever given um, uh, voice to it, but I'd felt that myself. I thought, oh, God, that doesn't sound very nice. Um, when I woke up and, and, and when I came round from surgery and then recovering from it, and it was only a few months ago I was given one, I'm just amazed at how easy it is. Actually, in many ways, it makes life a bit easier. It's no, it's not painful. They're, they're straightforward. It doesn't change your life at all. And I just wish I'd heard from people before I had that surgery because it can be really distressing going into surgery, knowing that you're going to wake up with what feels like a very big change to your body that's permanent. And I think, God, you know, for the next, if I'm privileged enough to live for another 40 plus years, I'm going to have this with me. Um, but it's so easy to deal with. Mm. And it just means that, you know, we all poo, everyone poos, some people do it around the back and uh, an elite few of us poo out the front. <laughs> and and um, uh, Giovanni, um, just about awareness, obviously, as you say, with, with people like Matt, like Louise Thompson talking about this, the awareness clearly is going to grow. But what about facilities in, in the UK and in other places uh, for people who have a stoma bag? And I think that's that's almost the biggest challenge in the UK. And we, we've done an interview with Matt recently, and he mentioned this as well. Um, public toilets and suitable public toilets are one of the biggest issues um, for people with a stoma, knowing that there's going to be suitable facilities um, if they need to change their bag when they're doing many of the things that we take for granted, like going to the shops, going for a coffee or going to the pub or going for a meal, but not having that confidence because I think you know, over 10% of public toilets have closed in the last few years. And 
people not having that confidence to know that if they need to change that bag when they're going out, I mean, that people make decisions not to do, as I said, things that we take for granted. So people then become isolated, lonely at home, and that brings many of the well-being and mental health challenges along that we're sort of like so aware of at the moment. And so that's why society being more educated and being more aware from an organisation point of view of the little changes they can make to sort of like make accessible toilets more friendly for people with stomas, but also make sure that there are public toilets out there. Um, but then it's also people's attitudes as well. Yeah. And, and let me just bring Matt in uh, for a final comment. Matt, um, I, I guess comedians, they, they lay bare the details of their lives, don't they, in their comedy routines. Is this something that's going to, to, to make it into yours? Yeah, I think it is. I've, because of the type of surgery I have, I'm, I'm still learning to walk again. So I'm on walking sticks, but um, I'm planning to do the Edinburgh Festival this year and I'll be doing my first gig back at the Soho Theatre on the 18th of May. And I usually do topical political stuff, but this is such a big... Uh, event in my life that I'm sure it will lead to um, to some comedy. And if nothing else, I mean, stomas fart with, you can't control it. I mean, some people have very little control over whether they can trump anyway, but, but mine will be, I will be a uniquely self-heckling comedian because this thing can go off at any time. Oh, Matt, we wish you very well with your recovery and with those uh, gigs coming up for you. Thank you so much for talking to Thank us you. and also to you, Giovanni, uh, Giovanna Cinque from Colostomy UK.